Now I know there's something you gotta do somewhere. I can't reach that. I still can't reach the brick. What's this? Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it's not. It didn't work. Yeah, no kidding. We proved that that guy worked here, and then we can try to clear the street to search him for the keys. Yeah, probably easier said than done. That place is full of TVs and electronics. I found the remote. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? Let me let my cat out. It's universal. I can program it to work with those TVs across the street. I just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AB. Let's try. I'm sure that's a lot of codes. All, all the TVs. Done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? That got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Can't reach that brick. I like how they're they're not really responding to us. Okay, I guess let's uh let's go back inside. Back inside. Okay. Cause I know this is all basically gonna go downhill after uh after all that. So let's see if we can't go in this office real quick, which I'm pretty sure we can. You gotta go, man. You gotta go. And it'll all be worth it one day. Maybe. I like how Clem followed us in here. But you have to. How's Clem Clem? Everyone out there seem alright to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. And there was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean... Get the dangerous ones. Of course. Try. Good. <laughs> I love Clem. You heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. <laughs> I love how bouncy her hair is. That never gets old. Ah, uh, family photo. There we are. Find anything? Jesus Christ, she walks up like it's nothing. It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I We're in the you office. Are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? What's it to you? To me? I'm not the one with the felony record. Yeah, so? You like an okay guy, and the last thing <clears throat> you need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I'm not gonna... No. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Good idea. Thanks. Don't worry about it. No problem, my Carly. I like Carly. Carly's pretty cool in my eyes. 
this door leads to the back alley. <laughs> no kidding, Lee. Hey, look, a first aid kit. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Doesn't mean you shouldn't take it anyway. Hey, the old man's cane. Right? Yeah. What's that? <laughs> it's a okay. cane. That's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Dads are smart like that. So what? Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Yeah. Sure. Here we go. Watch I'm pretty sure like Clem hurts her finger or something. <sighs> Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not I may be wrong. I don't know why everyone is crazy. <laughs> Everyone's always been crazy. Nobody does, I don't think. No, you do. You just don't pay attention enough. Yeah, your dad probably does. Okay, here we go. Don't hurt your finger. Oh, she had like a weird demon face. Do you have kids? No. No. You don't have a family? Uh. Let's not talk about that. Do you play any sport? Uh, what do your parents do? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. So you're a rich kid. Jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Oh, so he's, well, uh... Um, social studies? Yeah, just yeah, like that. Like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <laughs> I'm, like, almost positive she hurts her finger. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated. That's oh, it. man. Why? It just is. It, it's some sad but things. You love them, right? Yeah, of course. You gotta love them. He's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. Yeah. I got into some trouble and, and I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Yeah, let's, okay. yeah. Because of the trouble? Mm hmm. That's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. Let's get this done. And I'm like almost positive she hurts her finger. That's why the first, ma first aid kit is right there. Ow! Yep, see? Told you. Oh, so much blood. I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. Yeah, that's not a little. That's a like a like just a giant stream of blood coming out of your finger. Where is the first aid kit? Bandaid. Let's have a look at that finger. See, like it hurt. Of course it did. We can do something about it. Does it hurt when I do this? A little, not too much. Okay, sure? good. Yeah. <laughs> I think Clem's about to cry. Anyway. Yes, please. There you are, Clem. Clem. You're good as new. Even though it was like bleeding from the tip of your finger, which made no sense. What's in here? Hey, it's a TV remote. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. Well, we should keep a lookout. Yeah, we should. Walkie talkie in case they try that way. There you go. Close to me until then, okay? 
It's not, excuse me, Jesus. It's the remote to my dad's TV. I'm pretty sure, like, I, I thought I already picked it up. Like, did I not? <laughs> like, in the uh, episode. I figured. Like, in the episode, maybe the episode before that, I don't know. Uh, the keys are on that zombie out on the street. Okay, see, that's what I thought, but now I, all of a sudden I have, can I take this cane? No. I guess not. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? I feel like I'm missing something. You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, I gotta be honest with Clem Clem. No, he wasn't. He wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? Yes. He was. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna lie to Clem Clem. Clem Clem means too much to me, and I'm not, no. I, I'm, I don't lie to Clem Clem. I don't care about you. Uh, I gotta go. I don't care about y'all. I've already talked to y'all, so let's see if I can't just go ahead and get this. How we doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? You're so not fun, and you have. Let's have a look around. Okay. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? Just show him the picture. In the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we could make. What What is going on with the camera right now? Figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah. Just a few seconds. What is going on? Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. What in the world? Can't reach that brick. Uh. We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here? Oh, I think uh, this is what it is. You want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? What is going on? Why is Lee standing up? A lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. See, like... Open sesame. That won't work. I was kidding. It's universal, but not that universal. I know, Doc. Okay, like, I can't be imagining this. There's gotta be something. It's a combination lock. Okay, it's gotta be back inside. Let's head back inside. Okay. Ah, oh, the search. The search for everything. But, like, I find it so funny. It's right there between the mesh and, like, I just can't get to it. Okay, let's see. Let's go see if I can't find this. Hey there. This is Glenn, and, uh... I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? Hey, Glenn. This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stop. What's wrong? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. Way to go, Glenn. Over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. Okay, cool. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you wanna do, someone's it's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Yay! Carly's in. I Carly's in. Right now. Let me know as soon as you wanna head out. I could use a jog. Where is Carly? Let's talk to Carly. Hey there. <laughs> I like how it like immediately has flirty face on. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. 
I don't understand why they would be like, you ready to head out? No, I just was making sure you were ready to head out. Like, what would, what, uh, I don't even know, how did we even get out? Get down. I think he's missing, uh, his lips. Just saying. He might want to check on that. These are such, like, generic zombies, and I love it. Did you see that? Sure did. <laughs> That's Glenn. Don't, don't shoot Glenn in the face. Oh, man. I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn. All right, then. Wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not no. Yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. Yeah, Glenn's got a point. Suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> yeah, we're going to. Don't worry about it. What in the world? Where are we at? Can I? Uh, hey, there's that axe. That's what I get to, uh, there's a walker right, or, I guess he's not a walker. So. Okay, this is the plan. You don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quiet. Quietly. No. These things. Now let's have a look around. 